One of the big things then that, that gets asked then is the credibility of these news sources. Um, so people like Bloomberg, Reuters, FT, BBC and so on, all the national newspapers, um, most of those journalists are in fact encouraged to tweet. Now don't get me wrong, people like Bloomberg are not going to release a scoop on Twitter uh, because that would be counter to the whole reason that people pay tens of thousands of dollars for a Bloomberg terminal. But things like Times, Telegraph um, definitely can offer some insight because other than just the, a publication every once in a while, perhaps on a weekly basis in the weekend press, journalists can be quite active throughout the day. So definitely these are, are good sources of credible information. Less credible ones then, Twitter, blog sites, another blog site, a very infamous one you might be aware of in the financial community is one called Zero Hedge. Now Zero Hedge. I think their work is absolute quality. Um, obviously, you need to take it a little bit with an awareness of their, their overall kind of spin on markets being somewhat you know, sensationalist or quite bearish. But ultimately, they're putting out some really insightful information, uh, information from different banknotes, from different economists, analysts, things that otherwise from a, from a retail trader's point of view could be quite difficult to get your hands on and also helps give you quite a high level, uh, an intellectual level of looking at how markets are viewed by seasoned professionals. How to verify then a Twitter account and this is the kind of checklist that generally I would go through uh, in order to have that process of can I trust and rely on what this Twitter account is saying and here you've got who do they work for how many followers do they have? have they, has the account been officially verified as per the uh, logo you can see on the right hand side? What type of content has been tweeted previously? Who follows the account in question? And what is the context of the tweet? So hopefully that was insightful. Uh, I've had a lot of requests to do this video over the years. So hopefully it's going to be useful for you and you've enjoyed it and it's opened your mind to a little bit of the way to view and approach using Twitter to trade and to monitor news. Any questions at all, please do feel free to leave a comment and I'll be happy to, to help further. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks very much, guys.